think Ralph Wilson has gone through life not expecting anything, trying to make good things happen, but not about himself necessarily. Charitable beyond belief, yet he doesn't really want you to know all about it. He served in both oceans in the Navy in World War II. Talk about doing good things for people, I would put that at the head of the list. Ralph Wilson, quote, gambled on the city of Buffalo in 1959. And he has kept the bills in Buffalo in 2009. He understands the passion of Western New York, a blue collar, loyal, hardworking. We don't ask for much, we ask for just a little loyalty and we'll give it right back to you times 10. And, and, and it's been a two way street. It's as if everyone in Buffalo is being inducted today into the Hall of Fame. And I think that's why you see so many people here in the stands wearing their nice blue jerseys with the standing buffalo, the original Bills. Ralph is getting this honor because of everything he's done. Those teams that won in the 60s with Jack Kemp at quarterback with the big hit, and maybe the most famous hit in the 10-year history of the AFL made by Mike Stratton in the first AFL championship game in 1964 that laid out Keith Lincoln to O.J. Simpson getting 2,000 yards to the resurgence of the Bills uh, with Joe Ferguson, a quarterback. Joe Cribbs is a running back at a really nice team in the early 80s. Uh, and then, of course, the team that we'll never see again, a team that made four straight Super Bowls in the 90s. They had wonderful players. They had a wonderful coach who's in the Hall of Fame, Marv Levy. They had a wonderful president and general manager in those days, Bill Poley. But yet all this happened because they had an owner that let the general manager managed, the coach coached, the players play, and the owner provided them with the tools to be great. And without pointing to himself and saying, look at me, I'm great. Well, my team's great because it's my team. You've not heard that ever from Ralph Wilson. Every time I talk to Ralph Wilson about the AFL, his eyes sparkle and he smiles and he says, but we had a lot of fun in those days. Those were days without a roadmap, without the growth of the AFL, and then the force of the merger, and then Super Bowl III. The NFL's growth would have been stunted. In 1970, the NFL was nationwide, every part of the nation. Without the AFL, you don't see the explosion in the 70s of pro football. The NFL is the greatest game going. But it's not quite what we have today without the AFL and Ralph Wilson was part of that bedrock. So, yes, it's, it's about time. This is one of the wisest selections the Hall of Fame has made in quite a while. There are very few that have had a mark for a half of a century on the game of pro football. I think what it means is that if and when the day comes that we no longer have Ralph Wilson with us, and that'll be a sad day, that people will remember that he stood for football, he stood for the fans ahead of himself. It's not that he did it. It's that they did it.